area of complex shapes. So a complex shape would be a shape that's made out of more than one shape that we're familiar with. So for example, this would be a complex shape because it's made out of a rectangle and a triangle. So it says find the area of the shaded region, meaning what's inside this rectangle and triangle together. So this rectangle, well you could count it each one of these squares, but that would be kind of slow. Uh, it's two units wide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight long. So that's going to be a length times width of 16 square units. And the area of this triangle, again, you could uh, count up all the squares. But I think it would be easier to say that the base is eight long and that the height of it is 4, so the area of a triangle is 1 half times the base times the height. So the area of the triangle is 1 half times 8 times 4. Well, half of 8 is 4 times 4 is 16. So we've got to put 16 together with 16 to get a total area of 32 square units. This is a formula sheet with the rules for finding area of some shapes. Hopefully this will help you remember which rules go with which shapes. So here is area equals base times height. That's going to be for rectangles and parallelograms. The next one, area equals one half times base times height is for triangles and the last one here, which isn't actually that bad, is for trapezoids. Alright, so we have a complex shape here that we want to find the area of. There's a couple ways of doing it and usually involves uh, cutting it into pieces. So I'm going to cut that little rectangle off and the area of this rectangle is going to be length times width. 8 times 5 is 40 feet squared. This little quote mark it stands for feet. Now I have one little rectangle here. I know that it's one foot wide but how long is it? Well, if the distance from here to here is 5 plus a little bit more makes a total of 7, that means that this one has to be 2 feet. 1 times 2 gives us the area of this rectangle, so that's going to be 2 feet squared. So the total area is going to be added together 42 feet squared. This one we need to find the area of the shaded region, or the black portion. Well, this one's not going to be an adding problem, it's going to be a subtracting problem because we're going to find the area of the whole parallelogram, which is base times height. Base times height is 24 meters squared, and in the center is a piece missing that we needed to cut out and that's a rectangle. So 2 times 3 is 6 meters squared. So we're going to take away that 6 meters squared to get 18 meters squared for the shaded region. This one's a little bit tougher. What we have here is a trapezoid put on top of a rectangle. To find the area of the rectangle, that's easy. That's area equals length times width or base times height, whichever way you want to remember. So that's going to be 5 times 8 is 40. Now we need to find the area of the trapezoid. And its bases are the parallel sides. 
This one has to be 8 because it's the same as this one. And the height is how tall it is, which is 4. And the area of a trapezoid is going to be 1 half times the height of 4 times the sum of the two bases, so 4 plus 8. Half of 4 is 2 times what's in the parentheses is 12. That's going to be an area of 24 feet squared for the trapezoid. Now we need to put the area of both of these shapes together. So 24 plus 40 is going to be 64 feet squared. So when you're doing these problems, don't be afraid of them. Just break them into easier problems and find the area for each one and then put them together.